So why do you think he was going to these parties? I think that he's going to the Diddy parties, you know. Bruh. <laughs> if he's going, well, we know he's going to the Diddy parties. And I know that it's... <laughs> I know what usually happens at the Diddy party or what we told this happened at the Diddy parties. Maybe he need to see it for himself, man. Maybe he need to go there and really be involved in some things that could help save some individuals while they go into those parties. Or maybe he just going to, man, it, it, it's, it's hard. It's hard to even talk about why would you find a, a religious man, you know, when you know that the the saints supposed to separate themselves from the sinners, and why would a religious man like himself be at a party, which is ain't nothing but sin that's going on, bro? Whether it's drinking, maybe fornicating, maybe like I said, men on men, women on women. It, it, it's hard to 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 put in perspective unless he's involving himself what is actually going on at the parties. It's hard, brother. Bro, you know, you can't, I, 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 I really don't know why as a spiritual advisor to him, that they buddy buddy while they well he got a party with him like that and be at his parties. It's got to be maybe it's something more that meets the eye. You know what? I, I don't know. You know I buddy, plan A goers. You already know what it is. It's your boy the real DJ show. Right here, man, we talking about Gene Dill talks about T D Jakes at a Diddy party. Now, let me explain who T.D. Jakes is. T.D. Jakes is a, a famous preacher, been on TV, always had a couple of allegations about his sexuality. Now, in the Christian world, you know, it, it, it kind of goes against the religion to, you know, be homosexual or, you know what I'm saying, um, or anything like that. Um, as far as a preacher goes, you know what I mean? They're supposed to be preaching, you know what I'm saying, um, how it's not right and how they disagree and you know what I'm saying? It's in the Bible. But um, in this situation, uh, you have Diddy. Now Diddy, Gene Dill is always talking about how Diddy is having these freak parties and you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Now, if y'all don't know, Gene Dill is Diddy's ex bodyguard. You know what I mean? I was his uh, bodyguard on some Whitney Houston shit. <clears throat> so uh, Gene Dill basically talks about, he doesn't know why T.D. Jakes will be there if he wasn't interested in the things Diddy was doing, you know what I mean? Why would he be at the Diddy party? You know, he said the sinners, the, the, the sanctified don't hang with the sinners. Well, uh, I have to disagree right there because when you look in the Bible, they say uh, Jesus hung out with the hustlers, the drug dealers, and everybody like that to try to get them saved. You know what I mean? So I got to disagree with that, but I can understand the narrative that he's going with. Now, I'm not saying T.D. Jakes is or isn't on that level or that vibe, but... Um, as a grown man, I'm seeing pictures of T.D. Jakes is laying on Diddy chest while they're standing up. It's wild, you know what I mean? And then, uh, you know, and but if it's a Diddy party, bro, and you a pastor, I feel like there should be kind of probably some boundaries, you know what I mean? Especially if you know what everything is going on in there. Like, you could pick a different day to meet with this guy. Um, T.D. Jakes... Um, I can't really speak. I don't know too much about him, but Diddy right there on the other hand, bro. Um, <laughs> I don't know, man. You got to watch out, bro, because I think um, T.D. Jakes has had allegations against him being homosexual, and so has P. Diddy, you know what I mean? So Gene Dill is always expressing how Diddy is not really... You know what I mean? How, you know, since the Cassie story came out, he's, he, well, he's been vocal before then, you know, especially in the art of dialogue. Um, I think that T.D. Jakes got some explaining to do. And I heard T.D. Jakes actually did explain, 
You know what I'm saying? I'm not on a freak fest. I'm not here to deal with men and all this other stuff. I came here to get, you know, to serve the Lord. You know what I mean? But I don't know, man. Uh, only God could judge him, man. You got to hit him with a Tupac line. Even though Diddy ain't going to like that, you got to hit him with a Tupac line, bro. But having a pastor, I feel like that's, you know, preaching one thing is doing another is very hypocritical. And I don't think it's good for the congregation if that's right. If that's what you believe in and you're doing the total opposite, I just feel like it's a money grab now. That's just my opinion on that. You know, I just feel like um, if he's if he's solid and he's he's telling, you know, talking to Diddy and the people at the parties and <laughs> passing out pamphlets, he's good. But if he's not passing out pamphlets and stuff like that, it's like, why would you want to be there? And I understand Gene Deal. It's like, bro, I've been at that party. I know what they do at these parties. What is your business there? You're not holding church there. You're not uh, baptizing nobody at these Diddy parties. Or maybe you are. We don't know. You know what I mean? We don't know if you, you know what I'm saying? So for Gene Deal, shout out to Gene Deal, man, because there's been a lot of questionable things that, you know, we always wanted to know. We always probably heard. Like, even if you look at the cover of the uh, Machiavelli album, like the first one, I don't know. Suge Knight is a weird individual as well. He's had um, Puffy and Biggie, you know what I'm saying, having sexual uh, references on the album. Pac is like, change this, man. What are you on? You feel what I'm saying? But in this story, man, I feel like, T.D. Jakes, he came out, told his half, you know what I mean? And like, yo, I see how the internet is doing me. You know, I'm not with that type of stuff. You know what I mean? I think he did it a day before Christmas on Christmas Eve or something like that. Let me know what y'all think about the comments, in the comments. What do you think T.D. Jakes was doing at a Diddy party? Let me know. Now, do you think it was innocent or do you think it was some, some devilish acts behind that? Let us know in the comments. What do you think about T.D. Jakes being at a Diddy party? It's your boy, The Real DJ Show. Like the video. Make sure you subscribe. It's show. Love y'all. I'm out. Peace.